Hello everybody, Coach Todd here. I'm gonna do a little run today. It's a beautiful day today. Remember last week I didn't have gloves? Well today, no sleeves. Had about an hour to do the run. I'm gonna do my go-to run, which is a fartlek cut down. Right now I'm gonna start off with a 10 minute warm up and then go on to the main set. Pathways, very, very busy today. So it's gonna be hard talk to the camera without looking like a bit of a moron and then uh, seeing everybody pass by anyways it's gonna be fun let's go remember last week we had so much snow and ice on the pathway not today okay so right now I'm doing a warm-up 10 minutes easy running so you should be able to talk to the camera all right looking at my pace not too fast which is good I got someone behind me let's go and join me in budgets Mike what do you think I think that's Mike so my run may be changed to something else we'll have to wait and see I wasn't sure if that was you and then I saw you. Who could it, who could it be? Oh, I had to run faster to catch up to you. Nice. <laughs> I am back. My workout didn't go as planned. Oh. I got a wrench in the mix. Is that what you say, a wrench in the mix? Oh, I don't like being called a wrench. I used my... I'd like to think it was a... Positive wrench. It's a positive wrench anyway. This is my wrench. So my workout is now modified. This is Mike. Mike, say hi, Mike. Hi, Mike. He's training for the LA Marathon, which is happening at the same day as this hat here, which is Puerto Rico 7.3. So I'm pretty excited. Mike, are you excited? I got my I got my final month preparation email. Yeah. Nice. Really looking forward to it. You ever done a LA marathon before? No. It's been my first time. What was the last marathon you did? Oh, outside of an Ironman. 2002 Vancouver. Wow. So it's been a while. That's like 15 years. Yeah. It's crazy. I think I've only done, well, I know I've only done one marathon <coughs> outside of Ironman, and that was uh, 2008, I think. I missed qualifying for Boston by 16 seconds. Ooh. Oh, that hurts. No, no big deal. It doesn't matter. Well, there's always another chance. Today's beautiful. It's a beautiful day. It's beautiful. I'm going to ask Mike here to give you guys one tip, and then I'm going to get into my workout. What's your tip of the day, Mike? Oh, you know, just be happy you can get out. It's fantastic. Just being able to get out, and who cares if it's a... If you're having a good day or a bad day, probably a lot of people who wish they could be there with you. So, so with the sum up, your tip of the day is what? Be grateful. Be grateful. It's a good tip. This is Coach Todd saying thank you very much. I'll see you next week. Peace out. Be grateful. Be grateful. Woo! I'm back. I thought he'd never leave. Just kidding, Mike. I'm crying. I'm so happy. I uh, just finished my first six minute effort. And to me when I do these, I do that 10K race pace effort. I look at the time or the pace, whether it's close or not. I don't get too caught up in that. But today I'm running by feel. What was very interesting is I came to this run expecting to do something, but the wrench got thrown in, and so I modified. I had a choice. I go, screw you, Mike. I'm doing this, and that's a valid thing to do. He would totally get it, because he appreciates what it means to put in a good workout. But I made another decision, said, you know what? I'm gonna run with Mike, chat with him for half an hour, increase his pace a little bit, 
maybe unintentionally, but a little bit, and then get back into it. And so now my interval workout is going to be cut short. I'm okay with that. When I do this type of a workout, I go hard during the hard part, and then when I go easy, I walk for a little bit and then build up into a slow jog till it's time to go again. And just like that, I'm done. Cool thing about today, I got the workout in, and I got to hang out with an athlete and a good friend. So overall, it's a fantastic day. Very grateful I could get away for a run today. Thanks, Mike, for that tip. It does work. Mike's the guy that runs with the belief of attitude of gratitude. It really does work. It's a beautiful, beautiful day here. It's hard to believe two weeks ago it was unbelievably cold. We live in an amazing place. This is Coach Todd saying thank you very much and have a great day.